Caution. Heavy object. Two person lift required. You're just gonna walk in and you're gonna see fish everywhere. What is going on guys? We're drilling some holes. We're drilling holes in all the piping across the entire room. Now I know you're thinking, why is he drilling holes in all that PVC pipe he just put in all around the room? Well, I have to make these little holes to tap into the PVC pipe and put an air valve. And in that air valve, I'm gonna have a connection point to the sponge filter. So I need to have these holes all throughout the PVC pipe and then I have to put in the air valves. It's time for a popsicle break. Okay, so so far I've got five of these groups done. So I got one here, I got one there, I got one there, one there, one there. They're held in there pretty solid. Um, I actually turned the pump on just for a second a little bit ago, and I heard all the air coming from these ones. So the system is, is airtight and the, the air is coming out of these holes, which is good. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I go about drilling these holes. So the first thing I do is, you know, I get this drill bit here, and I drill this hole. All right, that's a nice hole. The next thing I do is I take one of these little air valves and I put it inside the drill like this. The next thing I do is I get one of these little air valves and I put it inside of the drill like this. And then I can tighten it. I can tighten it around it. So now I can drill that air valve straight in. And I like to put just a little bit of silicone on the edge of the thread just so I can make sure once it's all threaded in there, I get a nice seal. We then take this, we put it right there, and we start twisting. And there we go, we got our airline in now. Now I got a little, got a little messy with the silicone. That's a lot faster than hand drilling. Okay, I got a lot done. So as you can see, we got a lot of these valves all over the place. I got like basically groups of eight, four going to each tank um, all across this thing. Now I ran out. You can see there's two holes there and then there's eight holes over there. I ran out, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's seven holes there. I missed the hole. Fear not. We are getting the hole drilled now. There we go. So that's all I can do in regards to the air valves for today. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get another popsicle and I'm gonna take a short nap. There's nothing like grabbing a little popsicle. Ugh. Hopping into bed and taking a short nap. I had a very good popsicle and an even better nap. And now it's time to get back to work. I wanna get all these black boards on top of all the shelving units. That's what's gonna, that's what the tanks are gonna rest on top of. Okay, we got our sheets now. I'm just gonna place these sheets. Oh, these better fit. It fits! There we go! Look at this. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. It just looks so nice and black. Just looks great. And I know you kind of see how it kind of like bows up a little bit here, but that'll be, that'll all be down as soon as there's tanks on here weighing it all down. Now I got to get the tanks on here and I need my brother for that.
Okay, I got two 75-gallon tanks on here. And this is a 60-gallon breeder that I had. Um, and right now, I believe that I have eight 75-gallon tanks in my garage. So my brother's gonna help me, and we're gonna lift all those 75-gallon tanks and just stock this entire thing. And you're gonna walk in here, and you're gonna look. It's gonna be a wall of tanks. Also, right here, you'll see a ton of sponge filters all going at once. Right now, I'm cycling a bunch of filters in this one tank um, so I can get, you know, some bacteria colonies growing on them. And then, once all these other tanks are filled with water, I can just take these filters, put them in there, attach them to the main airline tubing that I already set up, and then, boom, it'll be ready for the fish. So these tanks are a little bit heavy, but they're not as heavy as you'd think. Whoa. On stairs. Woo! Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! This one! This one's heavier than the others. Why is this one so much heavier? Whoa! Ooh. We're okay. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of fish in here. Okay. Alright. Go like this. Bring it back. Oh. There we are. This one's lighter. It's feel lighter. It's weird. tanks inside here. Now, now we gotta take him down the stairs. Caution. Heavy object. Two person lift required. If you ask me, that sounds like a challenge. Here we go, we're carrying the tank so heavy. Down the stairs by myself. I could probably die. That was the hard part. Okay, that was unbelievably exhausting. I cannot, I cannot tell you guys how, like, after the first four, I was winded. The second four took, like, my absolute willpower to be like, no, I'm getting these tanks down here. So I got them all down here. I haven't even had my morning coffee yet. I haven't ha have had, like, any food yet. I'm going to go have my coffee, and I'm going to go walk to my lake. Isn't that awesome? I got, I got a lake now. I saw a frog in there yesterday night. Okay, I'm here enjoying my coffee. I'm at the abandoned fishery uh, building and I'm at one of the small ponds here. And the whole project here of tearing this whole thing down and putting up a new one, I'm just gonna have to put a temporary halt on that. Of course, I'm still gonna continue doing that. That's one of my goals, but I'm one man with no employees that I, I can't afford employees. And I'm, I'm trying to get that fish basement up and running because that's where I'm gonna be having fish initially. Um, that's where I'm going to start selling fish and making money again. So I can't, I can't be spending my time out here working on all this when the return on this thing is so far, far in the future. I got to use my time where it's most valuable. And right now that's getting the, the fish basement up and running so I can start selling, importing, breeding, and you know, making more content about goldfish and getting, getting back into the grind of things. Let's get back to 
Okay, this is the fun part. This is the fish wall. There will be goldfish in every single one of these tanks. You're just gonna walk in and you're gonna see fish everywhere. Check out this wall of tanks. This is even better than the last fish wall. If you guys remember in my greenhouse, I had a fish wall of just like three of these. Now, we got like double the fish wall. The fish wall even snakes a little bit this way. So you're gonna walk into this place, don't mind all the cardboard here. On this side, there's gonna be these tubs all over here. Um, I might have to have those ones be water holding tubs for now to let the CO2 gas off. But we're gonna have fish all over here, and then we're gonna to look to the left here, and then boom, we're gonna see fish in all these tanks. Also guys, I hate to end this video on a sad note, and I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why these guys keep dropping like flies. Um, but the original num nums passed. Um, I just, I fished them out of here earlier. I don't know why. I don't know why these guys keep dropping like flies. Like they're, these are definitely the weakest fish that I've ever, I've ever dealt with. They're just so sensitive. They, they, they don't seem like they can handle anything. Um, these guys over here seem to be doing just fine. You know, the commons and Jack and Jill, uh, we got, we got Jill right there, and we got Jack right here, and we got the two common goldfish. They're very active, but something about these red caps, maybe they're just bred poorly. Um, they just don't have it in them to survive anything. They don't, they don't have it in them to survive anything. So yeah, I found, unfortunately, I found that uh, the original Num Nums, or the, the only Num Nums, uh, he passed. So we have Bean, Taco, and, and Zorro. I might have to rename Zoro to, to Num Nums again. And these guys are all doing well too. Jimmy seems to be doing pretty good. Gizmo seems to be doing good. And good old Tuco Salamanca seems to be doing amazing. So like, I don't think it's a problem with my water. I just think well, like, it could be, but for some reason, those red caps, like these goldfish are doing fine. Jack and Jill and the other commons are doing fine. But those red caps, they, they die so easily. They die so, so easily. So I'm really, I'm honestly lost. Anyways, that about does it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Don't forget to check out our merch and don't forget to become a channel member if you want to support this channel. Thank you very much. Luke Scoldy's out. Okay, real quick, look how beautiful these guys look with the sunlight. Look how beautiful.